What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Now, according to Bet MGM, Colorado surges and odds to win the college football playoffs. Now, it's no secret on who I'm betting on this year. Occasionally, I tell you guys throughout the season, I'm betting on Colorado. In fact, I'm betting on them to win every each and every game. So it seems like Bet MGM saying that the odds are going up. So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. So the odds on Colorado to win the college football playoffs national championship just took an interesting turn, according to BetMGM. The odds moved from plus 20,000 to plus 12,500 according to John Ewing. It seems like a lot of people placed some money on Deion Sanders and crew to win it all in 2024, including myself, folks. Yes, I did put some money on them to win the college football playoffs. Now, it might seem like a long shot to you guys, but imagine if they do. Just imagine if they have a Cinderella season. Listen, that's just going to be enough for me to change uh, area codes. Not, not just change area codes, but to leave the country for an extended a, a period of time. It is an expanded college football playoffs, so there are more spots available. The Buffaloes also moved to the Big 12, so that could provide its own challenges. The schedule can be difficult as the Buffaloes move into the Big 12, but there are winnable games based on Colorado's influx in talent. It's just about getting at the right time and making a run this year. Unlike 2023, where there was a huge skid, ESPN's Greg McElroy broke down the games Colorado had a chance to win this year. He said, heck, if the Buffaloes are going to make a 12-team playoff, you better not lose these. I think there are four must-win games on the schedule, Miguel Roy said on Always College Football. Absolutely must win, cannot lose them. It'll be North Dakota State. This is the season opener at Nebraska and at Colorado State and against Cincinnati at home. Those four games are absolutely a must-win, and I agree. If you lose one of those games, you could still get to a bowl game, but your 50-50 games become much more difficult. Colorado, as we know, is already coming off a 4-8 and eight record that ended on a six-game losing streak, even though they were coming off a 1-8 and eight finish in the year prior. For all those Colorado improvements, from one win to four games, they still were a 1-8 and eight conference team last year. And then someone said here, no matter what they want to say, they lost some good players. Dylan Edwards is a good player. Alton McCaskill had been a really good player. But we still have Travis Hunter and a few other um, additions as well. And I want to say this. Yes, it seems like it's a long shot in year two for them to go up and win the college football playoffs. But I see why the odds are going up. The reason why the odds are going up is because they made some drastic improvements to that offensive line. We know that they had problems last year in that offensive line. And there were some games there last season that they could have won. There's at least four games there. Really, what I'm trying to say is the score is not really telling the story on those four games that they could have won. And that would have brought them to eight games. Not only would they been bowl eligible, that would have been a really great season right there. Eight games. So this year, with the improvements that they made, I'm thinking the absolute bottom is eight games this year. Um, the minimum they they can win is eight games, but the ceiling is sky's the limit. And um, so anything is possible. Like I said before, everyone starts with the same record. Everyone starts with zero on their uh, record. And it depends on what they do moving forward as the season progress. So that's just what I want to say right there. Sky's the limit. Like I said, they improve the offensive line. They also improve the uh, defensive line, and um, I like the linebackers that they have. The wide receivers are more than capable, and also their quarterback is more than capable. Their quarterback, Shador Sanders, is said to be picked either one or two in the draft, this upcoming draft. He's going to be either the first quarterback taken or the second quarterback taken. So they have a proven quarterback that's running this team right here. The only thing they have to do, folks, they have to keep him upright. If they keep him upright, 
you're going to see something reminiscent to his last year at Jackson State. Remember, I said that. And also, history tends to repeat itself at Jackson State. Um, it took a while. There was a, a huge roster overhaul. And then in year two, they went on to win their conference uh, title. Year three, they won their conference title, even though they went to the bowl games and lost twice. But history sometimes repeats itself, folks. I'm not betting against them this year. What say you? Guys, please give us a like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.